I'm going to extract the dye from red cabbage and use it as a pH indicator on household chemicals. pH indicators are compounds that change colors under different pH conditions. They allow us to visually determine how acidic or basic a solution is. And they are usually plant-based dyes. Anthocyanins are a class of water-soluble compounds that can be used as pH indicators. They're responsible for a lot of the red, purple, and blue colors of fruits and vegetables. Anthocyanins can be found in blueberries, cranberries, purple corn, some varieties of grapes, and of course, red cabbage. Anthocyanins are also responsible for some of the color changes of leaves in the fall. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is chop the red cabbage and put it into a bowl. My vegetable chopping skills are unremarkable, so I'll use magic. The bowl contains half of a red cabbage. I'm adding about 15 grams of salt. The salt draws water out of the cabbage and some of the anthocyanin dye comes with it. So my goal is to get the surface of the cabbage to be coated in salt. It's that contact with the salt that draws this liquid out. That's why I'm mixing this. After letting this sit for about 30 minutes, there's liquid in the bottom. And that liquid has anthocyanin dye in it. This liquid is what I'm going to collect. This is what we're going to be using as a pH indicator. So I'm squeezing the cabbage to get as much of this liquid poured off as I can. Let's talk about safety. It would be entirely understandable if you wanted to eat this red cabbage because red cabbage is delicious. If you're going to do that, you need to put this red cabbage off to the side somewhere safe so that you do not get household chemicals in it. If any household chemicals touch your red cabbage, throw it out. And don't get bleach in your eyes or on your skin. So wear goggles and gloves. I'm going to put a different sample in each of these jars. They'll be in order from most acidic on the left to most basic on the right. Jar one contains vinegar. Vinegar is an acetic acid solution, so it's acidic. Jars two through six. For now, I'm just adding tap water. And tap water is neutral, but we'll be adding more to some of these to change the pH. So I'm squeezing a lime into jar two. Lime contains citric acid, which as the name suggests, is an acid. I'm not adding anything to jar three. Jar three contains only tap water, so it should be close to neutral. Jar four, I'm adding some sugar to the water. Jar five, I'm adding a small amount of baking soda to the water. Jar six, I'm adding a larger amount of baking soda to the water. And jar seven is bleach. No water, just bleach and bleach is the most basic sample that we have here. And now for the fun part. I'm adding a little bit of the red cabbage dye to each sample jar. The vinegar in jar one turns red. Vinegar is acidic. The lime water in jar two is also red, so that is also acidic. The tap water in jar three is purple. This is neutral pH. The sugar water in jar four is also purple, so it is also close to neutral. The dilute baking soda solution in jar five is blue, so this is slightly basic. The more concentrated baking soda solution in jar 6 is darker blue. And the bleach in jar 7 turns yellow. So these are in order for most acidic on the left to most basic on the right. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.